updated everyday like makeup routine and I'm not gonna lie I'm always like um, procrastinating on it but um, I had to rush because the products that I really really want to talk to you guys about are like running out so I'm like it's now or never so I have no makeup on right now I just got out of the shower and um, I have products on my face when I get out of the shower I um, go over my face with a cotton ball with this is like in my opinion one of the best toners out there I just feel like it really does help me like when I have like any pimples or anything like that or like little bumps or like scrapes or scratches it really like helps like remove them and take them away this is the pixie glow tonic um, toner it has my name on it it's so cute they sent this to me every time they send me a new one I get super excited because these are expensive. It is like twenty, like thirty dollars, I believe, that you can get them at like Target. But it is so worth it. If they did not send me one, I would repurchase one thousand percent because this is like something that has become a part of my skincare routine. And every single day for me, I need to use this. I use this um, when I wake up, like out of the shower, and when I remove my makeup, like before I go to bed. Then um, I like to apply serums also. Um, depending on how my face is doing that day, I use different type of serums. If I'm having like a bad day with my skin, I'll use the serum for like pimples and things like that. Um, if I'm having like a better day with my skin, like today I don't really see much like bumps or any like redness or anything. So I used a, a collagen serum. This one is from Derma E. Derma E is really good uh, with skincare. Um, and it's peptides and collagen um and it's supposed to help with like wrinkles and things like that so i apply this also on my skin and then the last thing i do is um i apply a hydrating eye under eye um <clears throat> cream i really wanted something to hydrate me so i've been using this one from Zermi. E. it's really really good so those were the three things i have already applied on my skin and what I do is I apply it like when I get out of the shower. So by the time I do come sit, um, my skin is pretty much dried up and I can now start with my priming. So these two products that I'm about to show you guys, literally, I'm obsessed. So most of the products that you're gonna see in this video are gonna be from ColourPop. ColourPop, I do work with them, but besides that, you cannot deny how good they are like their makeup there's and everything that they do is just like amazing so they came out with this line recently which hydro with hydroluronic acid and hydroluronic acid is really good for you especially when you have dry skin like me so this really does help me this is well the whole collection is called pretty fresh so this is the hydro hydroluronic acid um primer so when i tell you as you can see it's like almost done already i apply a little bit of this and i it's like crazy but i instantly feel hydrated like i just feel like the water and the nourishingness just like coming out of my skin like it just feels really good so i apply like a pump of this like that and then i start applying it like in my dry areas like where my nose is my forehead my chin and then the rest i just like put all over my skin as you can see one pump was enough it really does what it needs to do the next product i'm about to use is almost done as well it's also from ColourPop, but um this is from their fourth ray beauty i think it's like another line that they have um, and it's an acai face milk. So I use this to moisturize. This stuff is so good, you guys. Like, it's just like, I, I, what lotion moisture? Like, no, I, like this is all I wanna use forever. Like, this stuff is amazing. It literally nourishes your skin so good. But I apply like a dot, like a drop on each cheek, forehead, 
a little on the nose, and then some on the chin. Okay, so that's everything that I do uh, with like priming and prepping my skin. Um, so I do have eyelash extensions. So usually I would like show you guys the type of lashes I'm using, but these extensions are so pretty, you guys. They did such a good job. I did used to do eyelash extensions before. Um, I did it for like a whole year and I thought that my lash lady was like amazing and to die for and whatever. But these lashes, like mind you, anytime I wear a lash or I would get extensions, I've never done my lashes so short, but she does them so good that even though they're short, they're nice and full and fluffy. And I'm completely obsessed with them. Like she did such a good job. If you're in Miami, they're located in Brickell and they will hook you up. You tell them that I sent you and they will give you a special price, give you some money off to get these done. Okay, so the foundation that I have been using is from Frankie Rose Cosmetics. I've done videos um, on their foundation before. This is a matte perfection foundation. Okay, this is like super full coverage and it just covers me up and covers all this redness up. So this is in the color neutral. I use neutral and olive. I go in between depending on how tan I am or if I'm not tan like right now, I just go like in between them. So a little goes a long way. So I try to start with like a dot on each cheek and then like spread it out. Okay, I finished applying my foundation. Now I'm gonna go in for my brows. So my makeup hasn't really changed that much. I feel like it's just like the products and like the way that I apply everything. But pretty much I do the same thing. Same steps, so yeah. All right, that's it for my brows. Um, I forgot to show you guys what I used. I feel like I always tell you, but it's the Chocolate Brow Powder Duo from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and then I just used an angled brush, and I just cleaned it up with some concealer. So after I do my eyebrows, I go into my shadow. Like I said a thousand times, I don't do anything special. It's always the same thing for me. But I'm going to really quickly just dry my lids so they're not wet on the concealer. So I'm going to go in with the Becky G in ColourPop collaboration. It's called Ola Chola. And I love this palette because it's a lot of like neutrals and things like that that I love. Super cute. So I usually go in with <clears throat> Little B, Chula, and Loka. I just stayed at like that middle area and I just like go in between those. I'm gonna go in with this fluffy brush. It's like fluffy but it's a little angled. And I'm gonna just go in with Little B and Chula. And I'm gonna just do a little smoky eye. Just 
the brown smoky as it is. So I'm also gonna get loca, the orangey brown tone. I just love those um shapes on my eyelid. So I'm gonna go in with that one. So now it's time for contouring and stuff. So as you see, I'm all messy here. And this is a question that I get all the time. They're like, how do you get your like eyeshadow so perfect? So I'm gonna just go in with this ColourPop concealer. It is also from the Hyaluronic Acid um, collection, the Pretty Fresh collection. And they came out with um, a tinted moisturizer and a concealer. I was gonna do, um, a video once and i think i did make one but i didn't like how i looked so i didn't up upload it but this stuff is amazing amazing this is in the color light 45w i usually use the light 50w it's more yellow tone but i've been liking the brighter under eye so i've been using this one so i'm just gonna apply a little under my eye a little goes a long way so i'm not gonna overdo it and what I do is I just use this, or you can use a concealer brush, but I just clean up basically. I'm just gonna use my brush. So I'm gonna just clean up my eyeshadow. And this is like everyone's always asking me, how does your eyeshadow come out so perfect? It literally doesn't. I just make a mess and then I clean it up. That's exactly what I do with my brows. I make a mess and then I clean it up. I cleaned up under my eye so now I'm gonna start contouring so I believe I spoke about this before in like another video that I now cream contour and I've been using the true complexion cream contour palette I got this at Target it is medium to dark so it's only just like um, the contour shade I also have the Anastasia contour kit cream contour kit but I don't like it and this is supposed to be like a light palette but the dark tones are just super dark. Like I like more of an orangey undertone, like a bronzy undertone. And I feel like this really gets the color that I want. So I just, they don't have a name. It just says contour sculpt. So I just use the sculpt um, tone. It's like a light brown with an orange undertone and I just like it's perfect. So I use this like um, foundation type of brush. It's a G34 from Morphe. And I'm gonna just dab this where I'm supposed to get where. Okay, I'm gonna go in with a foundation brush, an angled foundation brush, and I'm gonna just blend all of this in. So that's how it looks. After, as you can see, it's like a light orangey contour shade. I'm trying to find the perfect color in here. Okay, I switched where my camera was. I had it on this little thing and I had it right here on my table. I feel like it was like giving me a shadow and you guys weren't really able to see like the colors and the tones and everything. So I put it on my ring light. I should have ended that. So yeah, so now I'm gonna just dry it. So I use um the nyx banana powder and it's already like done as you can see i love this this is like all i use um if you don't have this or like a pressed powder that's like yellow tone you can just use like a tra uh, translucent powder or something like that so i use like a eggy type of blending brush i mean beauty blender type of thing and then i make sure i don't have any creases And then I get the powder and then I apply it under my eye. So now I'm gonna go in with my translucent powder. I'm using the Laura Mercier 
translucent powder. So I'm going to just apply this everywhere else where it has not been as set. One of my pet peeves is if I don't set like right here and it's like still like wet and sticky later, that will irritate me the whole day. Or like right here under my neck because I always make sure to dry my neck and the sides of my face. So after I set my whole face, I go in and I blend out the powder under my eye. Now I'm gonna go in with another um, Becky G and ColourPop um, product. This is the color 310. It's another yellowy undertone and I just love colors like this. And then I like to be able to build up. I don't like when it's just automatically like a dark color. So as you can see, I do still have like a tone from the um, cream contour, but I like to add on because I feel like it kind of blends out once you add like powder on top. Now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a darker tone. This one is just called LA. And it's a darker bronzer. And I'm gonna just get a little bit and I'm gonna just add it here. I now contour my nose. And um, no, I don't think I have a big nose or anything. I just feel like it just disappears and all the makeup. So I just like to bring it back out. So I go in with this Frankie Rose uh, Pro Contour Palette. And I use this middle shade, it's called Heated. And I just get a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see the difference. Now I go in again with the banana powder and I just highlight my nose. Now I'm going to use this blush palette by e.l.f. And I'm gonna go in between these two shades, like the darker tones, lightly because these powders are super strong. This is a really good, like inexpensive uh, blush palette that you guys can use, but you have to use it, like I said, lightly. So I lightly tap the brown first and then the red, and I brush it off because it's like really strong. And I start back here because I feel like um, you can always build it up and I feel like if, God forbid, like the color does come out too strong, if you apply it right here on the cheek, then you're like stuck with that. If you apply it here, you can like blend it back to the front. So I just do that. I start here and then bring it up. Like that. I don't know if you can really see it. Like I said, I don't really like apply too much. Everything I apply, I apply at an angle. Like this, so contour, blush, highlight. I don't apply anything. Now what I'm gonna do is, I don't always do this. I used to do this all the time and then I stopped and then I'm kinda going back into it. I'm gonna lightly apply some uh, translucent powder here on under my contour line, just to define my contour because it looks to me a little messy. So I just want it to be really defined there. All right, so I'm gonna get the translucent powder like that. Now as that's setting, I'm gonna go ahead and remove my nose contour. I don't know if you can see the difference. I'm gonna go ahead and start highlighting. I use the same highlighter that I've been using for a year already. It's Thimble from ColourPop. This highlight is amazing. It's more of like a pressed um, highlight. So it's more like a cream. And I just feel like it applies so much better and it just looks so much more like natural it's like in your skin it's like from within it's not just like a powdered like chalky um highlight you know i feel like it helps you look more dewy like it's not like a highlight it's like a dewy highlight you know like it's like your skin glowing When I put highlight on my forehead, I start like above my brow bone and then I blend inward. I just feel like it's like more natural looking that way. Okay, so now I'm gonna remove the powder in a circular 
regular motion. I'm gonna go in with the contour brush and I'm gonna use whatever's there to just make sure that I don't have like a super like pale um, face. I just feel like if you don't do this, it'll stay really pale because of all the powder and your face kind of just like disappears with your neck. Then I'm gonna go back with the highlight and I'm gonna highlight my chin a little bit. So now I'm gonna go in with my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hydroluronic Acid Setting Mist. This stuff smells so good. It smells like coconut and it's like such a soft mist over your face. It's not like so strong and like harsh. You know, sometimes you apply setting powders, setting um, sprays and it just makes your face feel like night like tight and just like weird this like moisturizes at the same time as it's setting your face so it just feels so good and refreshing so this stuff is amazing but because I have um, lash extensions you don't really like should be wetting them so I just go like this so I feel like this is the hardest part because I've been going like back and forth recently with like my lip combos because I'm like trying to figure out what tones I'm like going for because I've been like changing the tones I've been feeling. I've been feeling more of like a super nude lip. Usually I do like a super brown lip, but I'm just like not feeling that anymore. I just feel like the brown lip liner with the nude, you know how it's like a nude pink tone and then like a nude like yellow or white tone. I feel like the nude pink tones are when you combine it with the brown lip liner, it just turns into like purple and like I'm noticing that or like when you do like the pink um, colors with the brown, it's just like, I don't know, I'm just not liking it. So, I'm not gonna lie, I've been going back and forth, but for the most part, this is what I've been doing. So I get any brown lip liner, but lately I've been using this one because it's a lighter, um, more like reddish tone. And this is Hot Cocoa from Jordana. See, it's like a reddish brown. So I'm gonna clean up my lip. And I always overline. collection is in the it's a matte lip color in the color muñeca it's just a nude matte lipstick and i apply a little bit i just want the tone of it i don't really want the whole like thing going on okay as you can see everything pretty much just blends in and it's just like one dark tone so what i've been doing Recently, I've been um, applying concealer on my lip because I don't have a super nude lipstick. So I've just been applying a little bit of concealer onto my lip with a, like a little lip um, brush and then blending it into whatever color I prefer. So I apply it more in the center. This is my everyday makeup routine. This is what I've been doing for 
past couple months and probably the past year I'm just been changing it up a little bit by little by the products that I use but this is pretty much it so once again most of the products that I did use were from Colourpop so if you guys liked any of these products and you want to purchase for yourself I do have a coupon code it is 5 Alejandra I'm gonna put it down below also if you live in the Miami area and you would like to try these lash extensions just tell her that I sent you and she will give you a special discount. So thanks again for watching guys. I'm going to try to be more active in this new 2020 year on my YouTube. So um, I know I always say to give me suggestions even though I never really listen. But I'm going to try to listen this year. So give me any suggestions even if it's for like couples videos or vlogs and things like that. I'm going to try to be more active. I'll try to do a vlog very soon. Just like probably just my day to day life. It's like taking pics for Instagram or something. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But if you have any ideas, I would like to hear some. Um, you can comment down below or you can DM me. Um, I would appreciate if you guys do share this video and tell people to watch and subscribe and things like that. Um, please give me a thumbs up and thank you once again for watching. Bye guys.